Safe Technologies Industrial Group has developed unique continuously operating equipment for the conversion of hydrocarbon-based materials, Continuous Thermal Decomposition Plant UTD2. The equipment can utilize such types of waste as oil sludge, oil-contaminated soil, drilling sludge and plastics, any slop oil being of specification and therefore unmarketable, and heavy fractions of the oil distillation can be used as feedstock. Thermal conversion process is based on low-temperature pyrolysis principle involving the use of heat to thermally decompose feedstock in primarily non-reactive environments. Processing of hydrocarbon waste turns into standard products that can be used for other purposes. Among the advantages of the UTD plant, one could count the following. Plant capacity is up to 800 kg of waste per hour or 20 tons per day. Feedstock loading is carried out without additional operations. Relative purity of the final products of pyrolysis process is achieved by absence of tarring. Negligible air emissions. Overall dimensions and attachment logs are fully compatible with the size of 240 feet sea shipping containers. It makes UTD2 easily transportable and facilitates the installation process considerably. Basic materials for utilization is continuously fed into the pyrolysis reactor where, while heated in oxygen-free conditions, undergoes thermal decomposition. Feedstock dries up in the lower part of the reactor, while cracking process occurs in the middle and top sections of it. Waste type and solid waste for recycling are fed from the hopper by screw conveyor. The hopper, equipped with a level transmitter, ensures safe in continuous supplying of feedstock and avoids the possibility of oxygen leaking into the pyrolysis reactor. Liquid waste is fed from receiving tank by pump. The heating system for viscosity reduction is installed in the tank. The simulating of speed of dry and liquid materials for processing is possible. The boiler fuel or diesel oil is used for primary heating of pyrolysis reactor. The oil is supplied to the burner from the fuel tank. Heating up to the processing temperature is carried out by the burner installed in the furnace and the pressure in the reactor is controlled by preset temperature modes and feed rate. Temperature rise to the set value in a heat exchanger signals the beginning of the thermal decomposition process. Once the process is stabilized, the power of the main burner is reduced. Pyrolysis gas produced during the feedstock recycling process is fed to the booster burners. The vapor gas mixture is cooled in the heat exchanger. The gas liquid mixture comes from the heat exchanger to the separation unit, where the liquid and gaseous fractions are separated. The improved pyrolysis process features a number of innovations. For example, an effective system of the follow-up cracking provides maximum control over the degree of organic materials decomposition as well as increases the output of light products in the derived fuel up to 90%. Pyrolysis liquid fuel is draining through the bottom nozzle of the separator into the tank, where the fuel is pumped to the storage container of the finished product warehouse. The derived fuel can be used as an energy source for the boiler units, power generators and incineration plants. It is also possible to obtain gasoline, kerosene or diesel fuel fractions. Furthermore, the heat of the process is used for local heating. Pyrolysis gas is fed to the booster burners for the post-combustion. Importantly, the system's energy consumption is minimal, since it is required only at the initial launch of the plant. After the process stabilization, the plant consumes derived fuel gas, thus making the continuous pyrolysis process cost-efficient. Dry residue discharge is achieved by a screw conveyor from the top of the reactor to the airtight hopper, where it cools and then is transferred to the storage bin, all without oxygen access. Depending on nature of the recycled waste, the residue solids can be used for soil reclamation, in construction or in production of coal bricks. Plant is easy to maintain and requires minimal personal involvement. 
Computer-aided control system allows managing all process parameters automatically. The plant also can be controlled manually from operator's control panel. Building side glass at the top allows visual inspection of the furnace operation and access manhole facilitates prompt maintenance of the heating chamber and refractory lining. Thermal decomposition plant of the continuous operation is the most efficient equipment providing the solution to such a challenge as treatment of oil-contaminated soils, oil sludge and drilling sludge. Negligible emissions, low energy consumption and the opportunity to produce market-grade fuel from waste makes UTD2 the leading product in the international waste management market.